Okay, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv, and in this video, we are going to have a look at data execution prevention. So this, if I bring up the Stack Overflow question, so there's some sample code to be able to try and execute some data rather than some code. So if we have a look, I've got two functions. One is execute data and it tries to execute this byte. So there's this function do jump, which takes a pointer. And so we're uh, passing in a pointer to this byte, which is uh, C3, which is just to return, uh, return, return from a function or procedure. And so if this runs, we should see nothing happening. But if I do run it, oops, and it is already running. Let's try that again. And click execute data. We get an access violation saying that we get a execution of address, something or other. And if I try to execute something on the stack, so we're just executing a, a local variable, trying to run this bit of um, data as code, and we fail. Now, this is a recent feature of Windows called data execution prevention or DEP. And if we have a look at, in, I was typing in path, which is the variables, um, which I can then click on performance. And here we have data execution, execution prevention. Now I've turned it on for everything except specified applications. And we'll see that um, by default, it's, it's usually on for Windows and essential programs only. Uh, and that include, includes every 64-bit application. And we we can turn it off. Now, if I want to turn it off for our little uh, DEP test and attempt to, I can't because there's, there's two steps I need to, to run through. First, let's, let's run it and then have a look at the task manager. And I've added this column, data execution prevention. And if we come down to our DEP test, we see it's enabled. And so what I can do is go into the project properties or options and under the compiler and the linker, we have data execution prevention. And you can just type it in here if you can't, can't remember where it is, but I can turn that off. And if I run this now, so it's been recompiled and go back here, we see that it is still enabled. So even if I try to execute a local variable on the stack, we still can't. So what we have to do is we've disabled it, disabled it in our application. We can now disable it in the in here. So I can add. I can add it. Couldn't add it before because it was supported, uh, and so now it's not supported. We can add it into the uh, list of programs that we want to exclude. And so when I run the application now, I don't get any errors. It quite happily executes the data. Now, if I was building this as a 64-bit application, you can't turn this off in Windows 11. You might have been able to in a previous version of Windows, but it's enabled by default. So this is really uh, preventing either your application doing bad things or someone doing bad things to your application. So it's definitely, you definitely want it on by default uh, where you can. If you're writing a just-in-time compiler or something like that, then you might need to uh, <laughs> have it disabled. But um, for most, most applications, enabled is good. And yeah, that'll, that'll stop. So some, some buffer overflow errors and things like that. Delphi's pretty, pretty robust in that respect. It's quite hard to do things, but you know, if someone works hard, they can uh, uh, try and shift your execution pointer or something like that just to, to location memory. So it's all I wanted to cover in this video, just so you're aware that it's available. Uh, do check out learndelphi.tv and go and buy my books, uh, Code Faster in Delphi and Code Better in Delphi, and also my sort of the mega pack of videos, which includes, I think it's 30 something hours. I've been re-editing re it and reducing the, all the ums and ahs out of it and just condensing some of the typing and things like that so it's a bit, it flows a bit better and so part way through part three of vcl 
So do check those out. I'm Alistair Christie. I'll see you in the next video.